<laughs> it's a little hard to get that angle in cinematic. Just right. <laughs> well, it's a make work project. The guy's the repair guy in the office is always busy, thanks to me. <laughs> Alright. Hello there everybody. Welcome back. I'm Lewis and Sock. Welcome back for more Grand Theft Auto Online. And there's our latest last new car. Our Porsche SR. Our Comet SR, I should say. Same difference. <laughs> mm hmm Nice looking car. Yeah. So I thought we should get something new, something that just came out today. Something a little bit more classy than than our Comet here. <laughs> Maybe you guys know what I'm going to get. I'm going to get ourselves the Sherbrook. <laughs> Sherbrook? Sherbrook? Yeah. Which is actually like a... Uh, uh, what is it like a Russian East uh, Eastern European East Slavic um, fast food? I think it's like uh, spiced meat with uh, onions wrapped in a thing. Yep, Rune Cherbuk, <laughs> part of San Andreas Super Sport Series. Yep, and it is a classic. Uh, it is a uh, uh, sports classics, so it's not a uh, a sedan or anything like that. Even though it is an actual sedan, it's it's and it seats four too. It is actually a sports classic class. Yeah, and only 145,000. So I thought we'd get one for, for the laughs of it. Yeah, you know, seeing somebody seeing it in the garage to me, the way we're gonna do it up, just the laugh alone is uh, is worth that money. We we go through. We make laugh money to be worth it. <laughs> and I like unique vehicles. Now this vehicle is basically based on the uh, Lada Classic, which is um, I don't know. I want to say Soviet kind of car, but it's not really. I think it's like just post Soviet car. So it's. Uh, just as good as Western, right? Just as good, just as stylish. <laughs> so, it's in white in the picture. Hmm, not sure what color I'm going to get just yet. So, what do you think we should order it in? Something, uh, well, it's traditional black, right? Like, I think a lot of movies you'd have your, your KGB agent and something like this. And it'd usually be black, so let's get black. Don't be fooled by a lick of paint and polish. Underneath the showroom finish of the Sherbrooke is nothing but a lump of iron curtain that's been smelted down and hastily recast with the glories of the free market. As for the rumors that the exterior design was outsourced to a five-year-old with nothing but a crayon and a crippling hangover, we can only tell you that the deregulated entrepreneurship is a wonderful thing, and we support it 100%. <laughs> I really wish I'd read it again. <laughs> in a different voice. Don't be fooled by a lick of paint and polish. Underneath the door room finish of the tour book is nothing but a lump of iron curtain that's been smelted down and hastily recast out for the glories of the free market. As for the rumors that the exterior design was outsourced by a five year old with nothing but a crayon and a crippling hangover, we can only tell you that deregulated entrepreneurship is a wonderful thing, and we support it 100%. Ah, <laughs> uh, I can do better. Yeah, you know, good now. Doing it some justice. <laughs> Buy for one hundred forty-five thousand. So you guys can wait for a sale, but I don't think it's necessary. <laughs> it's not too expensive. Let's go to Del Perro. Why not? All right, be delivered shortly. Woohoo! Let's go pick it up. <laughs> Should we take our Porsche? Might as well. Might as well. I don't think we have any other Ladas in our or. Uh, a lot of classics. Any other runes in our in our collection to drive over there <laughs> to compare it against? Yeah, go home, you go. I just you came from my house. You go. Home. <laughs> All right. So yeah, seats four. So that's kind of nice. So you can show off the uh, Sherbrooke to four or three of your friends. <laughs> Use it for company, your own little KGB hit team. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking. I'm gonna put it probably in the business garage with all my other business business vehicles. I've got plenty though. But you really don't need to have a lot of vehicles in GTA. There's only a handful that you really should have, kind of thing. And then beyond that, it's kind of personal preference, player preference, usefulness, and and the money amount available to you, I suppose. Yeah, so let's have a look. All right, should appear right over there any minute now. <laughs> so you can do this one up in a bunch of different libraries, apparently. 
on a bunch of different paint jobs. And um, you can also give it uh, different types of parts. Apparently you can do it up as a cardboard ricer. <laughs> That's what the nickname of it would be. So some people out there in modern times have put on cardboard pieces instead of actual sports equipment pieces. I imagine you'd have to change it often, but you know, a cardboard spoiler at the back and, and all these kinds of things. Yeah, cardboard, uh, would it be um, uh, skirts, things like that. So I think I'm gonna do mine up that way just for the laughs of it, we'll see. Though it is tempting to just make it look KGB, but I think that's kind of boring, but cool. But so I think I'm gonna do ours different. All right, it's now delivered. We are confirming it. Yeah, it looks so classic Russian. <laughs> Rune 1200 down there in the bottom right corner. Down there. Yeah, Rune 1200. Wow, now that's styling, eh? Who cares about that comment? <laughs> oh yeah, performance engine. <laughs> Standard horn. <laughs> Rear wheel drive. She's a little, she's a little uh, wobbly. <laughs> Not bad. All right, let's take her in. But first, I'm just going to quickly open her up. Yep, four doors. Decent engine compartment, looks nice. And trunk for your bodies. <laughs> Not bad. Not bad at all. Now you can do your Cold War roleplay, no problem. <laughs> I have the bad guy vehicle. Hey, it's LJT. I know, I know. We're, we're going to be doing our late back grinding soon. Don't worry, LJT. Don't worry. Got to buy one more thing. <laughs> Uh, let's bring it to our business floor. And then we're going to take it right into the mod shop. Like yeah, I said before, I still wish you could just go right into the mod shop. But you can't. Alright. Level 3 vehicle. <laughs> Set into the mod shop. Get it ready. Something a little different. <laughs> Rune Cherbourg, sports classic. Armor for 50,000. Yeah, this brand new car, just only been out for a couple hours now. Brakes for 35,000. I kind of think the best way to stop could be not starting at all. Well, what do you know? <laughs> that was terrible advice, not starting at all. Engine level four, 33,500. I think some cars have cheaper parts. You would have thought that this would be, but I guess not. But then again, it is a sports classic, so maybe it'd be hard to get the parts or something. Uh, half covered. Oh. <laughs> so you can make it like a one-sided, I guess. Huh. Does that affect the back too? No, just the front. And full covers. Now, would that mean that you have no lights? We're going to have to find that out. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, full cover. Let's see what happens. That's different. All right, now, oh yeah, there's lights. That's what I was looking for, headlights. Xenon lights, which are blocked. <laughs> so we'll see. Okay, uh, mirrors, plates. Get our plate on there. Missing sock. Black and yellow. And I'm going to Tint the windows to our limo tint, and there you go, your classic y kind of KGB car. Right there. You need to come with me. <laughs> All right. Oh, pardon me, I had to cough there. Okay. No rush at all. Hood. Whoa. That's a lot of hood options cardboard vents. So before we get into that, I'm just going to check these liveries. So I want to change the color, but hopefully we can see them all. Classic stripes. Classic stripes. Crimson star. <laughs> Sweet. 
So if you're going for that that uh, role play thing that I was mentioning, then it gets even better. <laughs> hard bass, hard bass. I think there's some lines there. Yeah, just some subtle lines that you can barely see in the middle, some stripes and stuff. Prolapse. It's all right. Atomic tires. Number 42. Answered everything. <laughs> Fuka, uh, Fukaro tires. Hmm. Tinky, uh, tinkle mobile. I guess racing sponsorships. Yeah. Chernikov vodka. That's another good choice, too. Premium vodka. The secure unit storage facility. <laughs> Rusty prolapse. So you can do it in rust, too. Or shiny rust like I have now. You probably want to try to mat if you really want to rust. Rusted. Oh yeah. Rusty prolapse. Rusted. And that's that. Very cool. Well, I might go with that star, actually. And mirror options. Plastic. So there's regular mirrors. Plastic fender mirrors. Oh yeah. Do you need a drink? And primary fender mirrors. Oh yeah, so you can go plastic or primary. Hmm. Well, I think I might do primary. Why not? I primary fender mirrors. You. Thank you very much. Roof. Yeah, so we're gonna do some of the uh, the options here for the uh, cardboard. I think stock suspension. Whoa, she goes down low, low, low. Apparently it can clip a little bit on the low ones. Clipping kind of means it can pop out here and there, like it looks visually wrong. But it doesn't cause any troubles though or anything. <laughs> That's just so funny. But I'm going to do it. Yeah, race suspension, 4,600. 4, yeah, as you can tell it keeps making me laugh. Race transmission for 40,000 for this. Now you'll get the <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure. Awesome performance. Turbo tuning for 50,000. I never tell the cops anything. <laughs> All right, so skirts, cardboard skirts, tuner skirts. So we're going cardboard. Although I'm not really sure on the color yet. Uh, let's see, spoiler, cardboard spoiler, <laughs> tailgate spoiler, mid tailgate spoiler, sticker bomb, tall tailgate, or tall tailgate spoiler. Tuner, spoiler, race, primary. Wow, <laughs> what's that? That's different. Secondary rally. That's that. So primary rally and secondary rally and race. Cool. Well, I'm going cardboard. <laughs> That's what I set out for. At least it's cheap. It's 100 bucks compared to the other stuff. At least they did that part right. That's hilarious. Okay, back up here to front bumpers. Cardboard bumper for a hundred bucks again. Remove bumper. So at least you could try out the cardboard for super, super cheap and change it later. Race bumper with oil cooler. Yeah. There we go. Cardboard bumper. <laughs> Life is hard Rear bumpers. Cardboard bumper. Remove bumper. Classic bumper. And retro bumper. Retro's kind of nice. But we're going cardboard racer. Cardboard bumper. Only a hundred bucks. <laughs> All right, and we already got the headlights covered. The hood, cardboard vents <laughs> for 100 bucks. Carbon hood, no rush at all. sport hood, carbon sport, race hood with the vents, the three on each side. Carbon race hood, tuner hood with the two. Carbon tuner, and that's all of them. All right, cardboard vents, 100 bucks. <laughs> All right, mirrors, plate, respray, roof. Cardboard vent for 100 bucks. Roof rack, oh cool, roof racks. Small luggage. Load of luggage. Vortex generators, cool. 
Window loose. Louvers loose. Window back covers. <laughs> and primary roof spoiler. Really? Wow. Wow, that's a hard one. Because you can combine them. So, cardboard vent, not bad. Goes with everything. But I think I'm going to do something different. The luggage is tempting. Just to be different. But I do like the back cover. Keeps with our race car look kind of thing. With our ridiculous race car. <laughs> so window, back covers, loose. <laughs> louvers, louvers, louvers. All right, we already picked that. Spoilers, suspensions. Okay, I think that might be all of the parts except for our livery and the colors. Now, and the, the tires. Oh, oh, I wanted to respray just to see what colors we can do. So primary, secondary, and a trim color. Excellent. So there is a trim color. There we go. Let's go back out of the car. So it's your main wheel covers. Maybe I should have done these before tinting the windows. <laughs> but I think you guys can see the colors in there. I'll have a look outside. Because it doesn't look... Oh yeah, there's a little bit of dashboard change in too. Making decisions yeah. is stressful. Not a whole lot of changes. And see the uh, dash cam right there? Uh, another ode to the Russians. who were usually driving around with dash cams to stop all those insurance frauds. <laughs> now around the world they're popular, but they were kind of known, almost viral for a few years there. So I think that's kind of like a little ode to it. Yeah, a little dash cam on there. Hmm. All right, well, we'll pick that in a second, but first, uh, colors make a difference. Groom. All right, so we'll go through the colors for you guys. And blacks, and carbons, or graphites, I should say, anthracites. Silver's not bad. Dark steels. Yeah, stolen silvers. Life is hard when you can have red. <laughs> yeah, that's like a red red. Formula red. Garnet red. Gold. Yeah, I think what they would go with our racer will be the. Rusty Livery. I don't know if I've ever picked that. No I've never picked any rusty ones, but I think I might in this one. Although, that star is awesome. Very good throwback. Okay, so I want the Prolapse or just regular Rust. I think we're going race, so we'll go Prolapse Rusted. Rusted Prolapse. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Think long and Mm, you do it in chrome and all that rust almost disappears. Weird. Okay, so now back through those colors. So I wanted to see what some of those colors looked like on there. <laughs> yeah, making it look like a, a real expensive racer. <laughs> Midnight Blues. Chocolate browns. Feltzer brown. Hmm. Maple browns. Wonder if I might get something that matches the uh, cardboard a little bit, like the saddle browns. Not too bad. I don't think there's anything in here that quite matches the cardboard. Straw brown. Hmm. How many cars you got in this garage again? Yeah, so something to match the cardboard or something like a race red. Hmm. Well, we're going high and classy on this one, so let's go with that brown. So the bronze, oh, well, bronze actually isn't too bad. It's got a little shine, but it looks like it kind of goes with the cardboard. Not quite as bad as the other browns, so that's not bad. Let's go with that. Bronze. Secondary color. Chrome dab. <laughs> I 
It looks like that's just the main roof that does the secondaries, unless you pick other options on the car for the secondary anyway. But by default, it's just the main roof. Yellow. <laughs> Do you need a drink? Bubbles, uh, go all bronze. Yeah, I think I might go all browns, or maybe they look at that black again. Yeah. Making decisions is stressful. I think I like that anthracite black. It gives it a dark top to go with those back covers. In the back of the, the windows but it doesn't it looks like it kind of goes with the bronze somehow maybe it's just the way it weared and weathered maybe it's just uh, somebody chopped two up and made one <laughs> 690 all right so that is that metals would be a good choice on this too for the look that we're going for bring nice sun Okay. I'm either going to go with black or brown in there. Yeah, look at what the black looks like. Before I pick that brown. For a leather look. But black isn't too bad either. Yeah, we'll go with leather. We'll go with the brown. Life is hard when you can have anything. So saddle brown, straw brown. No rush mm. at all. Straw brown's actually not bad. Yeah, we'll go with the darker leather. Yeah. Saddle brown it is, 415. You've got an eye for this stuff. Alright. Just for a little bit of spark, I think I might give it a like a red or a uh, bright orange. Think long and hard. Yeah, sunrise orange pearlescence. Don't she look Goes great. with the rest a little bit. Okay, wheels. Hmm. For a second, if you can think but maybe we should I give it sport or something. <laughs> yeah, what looks cardboard ricer? Hmm. Hmm. Some of these might go. Lead sled. Turbine. Super van. <laughs> Classic rod. Yeah, so there's the stock. And I think uh, I think some of these other ones will go well just like it. You might try that super fin. That's different. Turbine's nice though. That's uh, very classic, simple. Lead's lead. Sled. 
Yeah, super fin. 13,500. Right, colors. Lots of color choices for the wheels. I think for ours we're gonna go desert tan, maybe, maybe dark earth. Yeah, I think I might go with that dark earth. But we'll have a look at that silvers and alloys for a second. Black's not bad. But I'm not really going for the usual style I guess in this one gold go with some gold <laughs> dark copper bronze hmm well the bronze isn't bad I think I want something. Uh, uh. No, actually, bronze. Yeah, why not? Goes with everything else. Do we want white walls? It actually goes with those prolap things, not but uh, actually. <laughs> I think I'm gonna do it. There it is. Bulletproof for twenty-five thousand. Tire smoke. Mm. Yeah, we don't need a tire smoke on this one. Okay, that is everything. Yep. Yeah. Let's take her out. Oh, listen to that awesome engine. <laughs> Our cardboard reshined rusty racer. I'm busy. That's what I'm doing. He doesn't know where I am. I'm busy. Yeah. He's our business partner. He should do some work for a while. <laughs> Make us some money. <laughs> well, let's see. Where's a well lit ish place? Hmm. Plaza's not too bad. <laughs> That's awesome. Vehicles and all. Oh, look at that. We got something new in the back. Oh, he closed the back. <laughs> awesome. We've got a speaker back there. I wonder what uh, choice it was that gave us that. Hmm. Now yeah, we got a speaker set in the back. All right. Woohoo. There's that engine bay up closer. So it does get some paint around it. Not bad. Not bad at all. Alright, let's hop in. I don't know if I'd suggest the cardboard racer, but <laughs> I want it to be different. I wanted something that would give people a laugh as soon as they seen it in the garage. Alright, now those lights. Yeah, those lights are covered. Completely covered. So you can do a half cover or no covers. So my Xenon lights are not working. <laughs> She's low. Real low. In the cardboard you can see the exhaust poking through on the left. That's hilarious. Go there. Dash cam, wish that would work. It's too bad. And like I said, seats four. It's not a very big car for seating four either. Yeah, let's give it some go. This is probably one of the fastest cars in the game. <laughs> That's awesome. But I don't think I've seen any exhaust choices either. I'm trying to see if I can. No. Yeah, she doesn't want to. 
She doesn't want to burn out at the same time as going. She doesn't have a lot of torque. But it's got the right sound for uh, being a, a little racer. And surprisingly, it handles all right. Yeah, so it's a sports classic. Like I said, if you're looking to race it, though, I probably wouldn't recommend it because there's way better cars in the sports classics field, like the Turismo Classic or um, the Deluxo is actually a sports classic that wins, too. Um, the uh, Truffade Z-Type, you know, a bunch of others that would be, I'm sure, better. Although I don't know, uh, this is so new that I haven't seen any actual stats for it. I don't trust unreleased stats because they change oftentimes and things like that, so... Yeah. Even single player um, testing can be different from what you get in online. You know, the handling is slightly different. There's some people that forget that or don't know it. One of, one of the obvious examples is you can fly through the windshield in single player. You know, not that that matters or any has any relevance, but just because uh, I just mentioned it because some people think they're the same and they're not. And an obvious example is that you fly through the windshield in single player, and online you don't have that happen. So. So you gotta be careful if you watch any uh, single player testing of, of vehicles because they're not always very accurate. There's a reason why a lot of the big guys that do this stuff, they almost never do that stuff. So That I've seen. And if you ask me, it's because of that. So yeah, as you guys can see, it goes pretty good though. Oh, they'd probably do better in the compact class or something like that. Yeah, all the windows are working good. <laughs> Where are you going? <laughs> Although I am tempted, well, they are cheap. I could get a second one, but uh, it's almost regretful that I didn't get the uh, the star, <laughs> so I could have my KGB hit team. Yep, you there, come with me. All right, everybody, so that is our Ruin Cherubuk. Cherubuk. So, uh, yeah, I hope you like that. It's, uh, I don't know if I'd recommend it, but it is cheap, so it's a good little fun vehicle. And like I said, I'm going to go put it in the garage here. And I would think that a lot of people that would notice this in the garage would get a laugh out of that. Yeah. So there's our cardboard racer. In the business garage. Right now she's level three. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> All right. All right, everybody. Take care. I'm the Missing Sock. Thanks for watching. Thanks for liking. Thanks for subscribing. It's great to have you with us. And I uh, hope you liked our Rune Jerbook. We'll get into some other new stuff soon. Hopefully, you know, the Jester Classic was supposed to come out today, but it has not. Not that I've seen anyway. Some people wonder if it's a glitch and an error and they're going to fix it, or if we just simply did not get it again. Yeah, so we'll have to see. And uh, the other car was the uh, Michelin, Michelle GT. So thankfully, this one's a much better price. Much, much better price. And obviously, faster and more class. <laughs> Take care, everybody. See you again next time. Mm hmm.